morning ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bebe Cool. Enyingira yange mu TB ngobulwadde nali ndi awo nemfuna kasimu okuve wo mwami na tude wano wameta Dr. Isiko. Dr. Isiko ya representing a TB a Stop TB partnership. Stop TB partnership ya company a Rwanda sa TB monsiona. Ereri wa mune Stop TB e Geneva. Na kubira na ngamba bebe kuru tubade tusaba ukogira kona awe tuwa galo champion inge TB. Ne mvuli zao ngomu yimbi mumpa meka Dr. Yaseka na mpulira nga nange mbutufu ndavi la daratiri kasenti na nchi nyonyora manager Andrew manager Andrew na ngamba bebe mbintu evisinga vieta goku wa matu decision no jikola ngoma zoku wa matu. Tuwasi tukane tukeenda mofisi ya doktor Dr. na hatu itira mbulichimu. Na imu kutu itira mbulichimu. Ngeri feje tuli awe mitime minafunafu. Mugaga mereno tuli wa mitime minafunafu. Na muamba hati. Ya yungere chintu na agamati. Abantu wa Uganda tude. Abafa enyo. Ebi endu wa dekati tibi ya kule mbebe. Luli silimi ya lea singo kuta abantu. Na hekati tibi ya singo kuta abantu. Na imu uza chitia chitia. Na hansi juki za anti juki la anti omundu wa omu luwade. Wa silimu. Tichite kezanti silimu ya muta wabafu ndi. No. Enduwa dendala zezi kola chi? Zezi muta. Ninayo na muta bani wangewa no? Jangu miyomba. Recently to our day of course ku World AIDS Day which is 1st December. Miyomba wano kwe mula wa jangu wa ni mabega wangu. Yomuku wana wa gagamelu. Betwina avaluwa deba HIV. Ilanga miyomba ya luwala TB. Na luwana na ye. Miyomba tuwa dena ye. Ya vayo dani ya wayo public na 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 banga haya galaba na Uganda ba mani, uvula tewe siri mno uvula tewe tipi. Tula vili dampola mpyomba tu muzamu amani tu aina family. Echipe wani saku mpyombo, mulo tde wa siri na yeye atemcha la wesi mulo tde wa siri. Atenga ba ina abana ba bidi. Ndi mtu? Basa tu abana. Na yeye abana ba lamu, na mcha la mula mu. So checho wachi nkugamanti Evi ntubi obuluwa de Tebieta aga ansonyi Tebieta aga discrimination Kumanga katika discriminating Amu yomba Omuchala mulamu Havana valamu Ochiteke Ate mchotala mchala wa amu yomba Vina evi ntubi ya jinja Vizivu zivu Kari thank you so much for yomba So no recho Dr. Netunyumia Andrew Netfuruma kwa wabweru katono na ngamba mani bebe tu kula nye bintu ebi ebi yamba ruachi chini tatu chikola chikwa taka na ne governmenti tu yamba bantu ba Uganda ne tu ingira munda muda chika bili ne tu kili zokola ne doctor isiko kuchini tu chati b ya detwa ali kasete ne zida munde ne tolo la ne ne tolo la doctor ne mwe tolo levi vuzo ingeli jeni zokufu na mwa kasete na ngandi bebe woyogere na kusete na wazungu wakuduse Gwezireto zwa wala lana ye kwengo mtu wa kusubilo kuwachi Okudiza Ni ngamba kale fine Ogumgugu kangolechi Kangweti kipa Seo ni wanya wane tukenda mu Amerika Meeting ya high level Yali mwaba kulembe zebe nsiyo na Na haba kabibe sente Bana njinizo Nenso kule kuwa kuwa kali mingawe mumanyi Kati ya haba kuru Neba mpita mabali Neba ngamba Ebebe yukendo sobolo bikola Nemba gama sobola bwe muba Munyambi, ne muta vera mu ono kaska mugua avera mu mu ministry zi oba mu muzi office tiet kare ne banga mbaga guruachi tutu saba sente ngabwe osuburo bikola directly kwe kubanti kati tutu sewa no ne pande ka proposal proposal ne baji ita mu ne baji kiliza ne banga mbaga tuwa kala kusoka kugezesa mwa kugusoka ne inga chema singo kugezesa bamba za challenge tinsa jenda ba. Nemba gama ntiaba na Uganda Tiba ina chiba manyi kutipi Tiba ina chiba manyi kutipi Na ye tuvena tutiaba na Uganda Nga tetumanyi kutipi Nti hata abando kusinga nesiri mulero Chila ganti fe tutali responsible So Nemba kiliza plani za ange Nemba ganze nja kuhiti na microphone na music Manyi nti music mkwa nukwa vana maulide Bwe mumpa sente za wa imbi Neza vana maulide Nitutife tuja kutambu sa ichi ntuchafu Lewa ngamba kare katukugeze sana katono Kumanga inensi nene Toi nza kumpa milioni ya mune chitundu Ya milioni ya mune chitundu Noloza anti na ajikafaringa 
No. Na iba angeze sana. Boba la vi. Boba tu inache kusobu lukula chi. Ukwe kule. Niba tisindi ke Vietnam. Ni tusula ke mikono. Na imu kusula ke mikono. Niba tu yikiriza. Chichi. Cheba suwida. Na imu kumalizela. Na imba zayo. Na imba gamba. Mba demu kule miya kajyo na. Biba le miye okufuna mu result. Nzela nzize yo kuchange. Nga bu nchilo woza. Nga bu nsobu lukuteka information. Mumetwe jachi. Java andu. Bema nsobu lukuyimba waya waya. Chikambe chita inache chitegeza. Aba andu nebachi ulida. Then uruwe mba ni na tipi. Lua chite ba ulide. Neba sirika neba teka kwa mkono kuenda gano. Haya mwana ne mkwata cheke. Ne ninye ndege. E nko mawe gano. So. Mkusaba kwa nge mbino vyo na. Bili nti. Emiaka jemba demu Uganda. Chenji ze chidi nti. Okuti za vantu. Ovo kwa galensi ya fe. Chitu singira okwe ya galiza weka. Ate na weke njini onyumiru ovulamu. Kuvanga tova na stress. Njaka la kusaba vana maulidi. Munegate kutukole fena. Si nza kubana senta ziba matiza mwena. Ate la sizirina. Na ye manyiwe zili. Muliba fuka bato. Ate mwakala nyo senta. Na babu ziza damu wanike mikono. Aba mune mjika kukua wanuansi. Na ye mba linzi. Gatuma zewa. <laughs> na ye mba saba. Na tekete ensimbi wezili. Ensimbi nzoke la kolo ansonga. Nze pepe kuru siku wakuma bali. I don't beat around the bush. Siku wakuma kabila vila bali. Ngeenda kunsonga. Aba fubu kaba nonya chakola. Baso kolo kuvera u. Anba na maulilewe Uganda. Na voba antu. Ateba fubu ka. Na voba nonya. Cheba funamu. So ufanga kumusaji agenda. Yena ala bensimbi wezidi. Yena jana akugama. Anti mujetu gende tuzikoleji. Tuzichime yo. So nsababa na maulile wedo ya gala pepe kulo batu mwagala Emondo tujitunuze kutipi Kubanga miezi kuminevi yobu sente mna webufa hao Baja tuongele sente nyingi Ezi tumala fena okugena maso okuluwa nisogulwa dewaji Batipi kubanga either way newe tutachogele konti chetaga sente Ama zima chetaga ji sente Newe tutachogele konti na wafuka bagala sente Ama zima gali inti Ama fuka tewaina cheba jakona ngatepa inaji Sente. Na yungu mba na maulile chiba ukanya ako. Chiri inti. Katimute gende. Ntitu ino kusoko kula gako. Tuyo ketifunechi. Aka sente. Kufatu weta goku marizo mwaka. Oguja nga turu anye nechi. Neti biba soko. Lotu waka sente mumfu mevulu unji. Weti saje chote tuja kuwa mizi kuwa chote hatu. Ba chonge la sente. Na yunga muma zo kula gako. Nti Uganda etike kukuluwa devu haji. Obwa tibi. Otasa mama o. Otasa omwana o. Tasa kubali fena tusiba mubidongo Wanubuhania kolola Nia leso mbwade Tumanya Mbichi So Basewa ni wanya mbasa Megonje wali yona Munegateko Wanku wayo mtuwa alo kwekenda nobu Kwekubatipi Uwofunye milio ni kumi kwekenda nezo Kwekubachi tipi Na ye Gungambe pepe miezi kumine yu wezi kwa mweji kwa mweji tipajeti ya ngeji kule etela ojwele za wasajia baji Haba tipiri ichi Sente sikeno kufayongo rende zidi koka miuka Ya sababu wezi ti agenda kola buwati Ya niyo na msajia wange Tamale ya sababu wezi ti agenda kola buwati NBS ya sababu wezi ti agenda kola buwati NTV ya sababu wezi ti agenda kola buwati Ngana heba maze kula wako Kubate liya kena kuwa nsimbi ngata ina chako zechi Chala vieko So yeyo jane yange jena tu seko ngeda nta ndikila chuatule Bifo chuatule nja kuyimba kuchivuru cha Kosovo Echa Levickson Na yeyo ratu genda kula wea nesi ya TB Yeyo na echivuru cha Douglas Echi gala omu waka Echa Papo Party Na yeyo tu genda kuwa incorporating na netiba closes so tuta andise orugendo lotu agala okwe gata fena. Ladies and gentlemen, I know my voice is familiar to you. And my direction is one that I guess most of the media personalities would enjoy. A couple of years ago we were in the same place when we decided to help children with heart problems using our concert, we 
uh, as Gagamel International organized one of uh, the biggest concerts in the country, that was uh, the Golden Heart. And through the Golden Heart, we managed to send seven to nine uh, children to India for surgery. Those kids had extremely, um, uh, you know, extreme heart issues that could not be worked on here in Uganda. And we are very happy to say that they all returned safely after the operations. Two or three of those children went back for their second operations and they came back still healthy and those families are sorted. As Amber Heart Foundation, we became so proud and we decided to continue and uh, create partnerships with whoever wants to give back or even government. So one of those times we get a call from uh, Dr. Isiko, who's seated next to me, uh, who is the representative for uh, Stop TB Uganda. Stop TB is a world uh, uh, organization that it takes charge of uh, tuberculosis, actually right now with the theme End TB, asking me as an artist to champion tuberculosis. It is always difficult for musicians to agree to work for free because the first question from me to Dr. Isiko was, Doctor, am I pay being paid and how much? What is the limit? I'm sending my uh, invoice, you and my proposal. And the doctor said, no, baby, we want you to help us. And um, we sat with the, the management and we said, okay, you know what? Even if we don't want to do, but let's go listen to what they have to say. So we had a conversation with doctor at Stop TV offices, and it was interesting that the doctor happened to tell Bebe Kul and team that actually Ugandans don't know, even you Bebe Kul don't know that TB, tuberculosis is now killing more people than HIV is. And it is unfortunate that even the uh, media fraternity in Uganda actually won't believe it, that they don't know that people are dying more of tuberculosis than HIV. That is the line that made me pick up interest. So when I picked up the interest, I asked them, what they wanted me to do or what I'm expected of. We ended up in New York where I met uh, uh, the bosses of money. I usually call them the bosses of money because all problems are sorted with money. And uh, I was given an opportunity to express myself and I, I told them clearly I don't know much about tuberculosis. I don't even know. The first time I heard about TB is a month ago when Dr. Isiko called me and told me he wants me to champion TB. So that means there's a missing gap in our countries, most especially in Uganda when it comes to awareness, which is promotion. Awareness is so key, that was my point. So from that day onwards, I connected awareness to finances because these people keep talking about the big amounts of money they have on their accounts because world uh, organizations, companies and countries keep contributing money so that Global Fund or TB Rich can use that money to fight diseases in the world. But we always, most of the time, just hear about money, 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 money. And it doesn't come to play. So that was my argument in New York. Later on, I got a, um, 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 a message that asked me to join the big shots and have a private discussion. They were asking me, how would I engage if they gave me money? I told them, me, the most important thing is as long as you get bureaucracy out of my way, I'll be able to help. So bureaucracy is the fact that things are done in a specific way. So even if there's an emergency, there won't be a twist around because it was organized like that, because it is meant to be like that in the ministry. You understand? So for me, I told them, diseases don't program when they will attack and they don't program when they will kill. So. For me, the best way to help you here is when I have the power to make the decisions at the right time when the diseases are a problem. And I think it made them very, very interested in Bebeku. So from that day up to today, I was asked to be part of the people who apply for a grant and I was asked to show them what I can do with the grant. So as Amber Heart Foundation, we knew we were good at uh, giving and helping and, and giving back to the community. So we came back and uh, did our proposal. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the proposal later on was uh, accepted by uh, uh, TB Rich. TB Rich is the, are the guys who give you the money in this country or in these countries to fight tuberculosis. Those are some of the guys who give you the money. So we are lucky. Recently we were told uh, we'll go to Vietnam and continue to, to defend our proposal. And lucky enough, our defense was perfect because uh, we, we stuck with what we thought was right. We stuck to awareness. Ugandans don't have a single idea about how dangerous tuberculosis is today in the country. Neither does the media fraternity, which is supposed to tell the Ugandans what is on the ground. So we won, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're very lucky. Let's say thanks to TB Rich. They gave us $400,000 to operate as an example for the first year. So they can see what we are capable of as Amber Heart, Stroke, Uganda media, and Ugandan people. They are sister, we have two sister groups that were also given the same amount of money, only that then they are dealing with, with, uh, 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 with tuberculosis in a different angle. Okay? But we will definitely work together. But this one, because it was all about awareness, our key issue was about awareness, about people knowing. Yes, we are also going to deal with some case findings, but our issue is Ugandans to wake up, Ugandans to put tuberculosis at the front. Yesterday, AIDS was at the front, but the fact is today, TB is at the front. So, we are happy that we came back uh, with that good news, and we want to, we would like to ask Ugandans, most especially the media fraternity, to join us in the next 12 months, on the journey of letting people know the dangers and fighting tuberculosis. Uh, today, we definitely will focus 70% of the press conference on TB, and then 20% uh, we will focus on Bebeku, and then 10% will focus on the media. One of the things that most people do by mistake is they don't give media an, a, a share on the table. Today, you definitely have a share on the table because uh, uh, you play a very big role. And whatever I'm going to do in the next 12 months, you need to back me up. There's nothing we can do as Ugandans unless if we work together. There's no way I or the government of Uganda is going to fight diseases unless if we work together. Now, for me, my issue is simple. Most of the people have, an, have this thing, a, 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 a thought that it is a shame to have tuberculosis. It is a shame to have AIDS. No, it is not. That's where I begin from. So I want to get TB away from that shame, the darkness, onto a table of discussion. It is just okay. It is a disease that can be treated. It is unbelievable that Ugandans don't know that TB is treated for free. If a disease is treated for free, actually it is also so embarrassing that Ugandans don't know that tuberculosis can be cured. So for me, when I add the aspect of saying TB kills more people than HIV, and then I add the other aspect of saying treatment for tuberculosis is free all over Uganda, and then I add the aspect that TB can cure, then the mistake is between me, the celebrity who has the ears of the people, and you, the media fraternity, who transpose the news to the people. So, my prayer here comes. I think with those three combinations, we have something good to do back for the country. I was talking to one of my friends here from Bukit, that we've been working for the last 15 years, uh, 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 Ndijo. I was telling Ndijo, Ndijo, every other time you get, you get, you get, you get, what have you given back to the people as an individual? What have you done for your country for sure? But you as an individual, what have you done? So Ndijo I had to try and, you know, and then all of a sudden decided to listen. So here when I talk about Ndijo, I'm trying to talk to you as, as media personalities. And this is not political, this is not anything, but this is common sense for sure. 
what have you done for your country as an individual? Yes, we demand a lot from the government, we demand a lot from the people, but you as a media, at least let's do the health things. Let's leave the others, don't promote the music, don't do what? Eh? But let's do something for the country when it comes to health. Um, before I give the microphone to uh, uh, Dr. Isiko from uh, Stop TB Partnership, who has more information about TB, I want to once again kindly request you with a good spirit to join Bebe Kuru. You always go for press conferences when we fight each other as musicians, which does not benefit your child who goes to school where there is a, a kid who has tuberculosis. And you know how tuberculosis is transformed from one person to another. It is by coughing in air, and another person inhales. So, if Bebe Kuru can come out and send the Ulutalo, I am asking you kindly, and I'm on my knees asking the media fraternity, if it's not a movie one, it's 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 a movie one. The question would be, na ipe pekulo na atusasura. Kumanga, I definitely know your young people and you work, you've got families and you've got, uh, you know, goals. You know me, I'm very straightforward when it comes to issues. This is what I'm going to say. I had to impress these rich men before they sent my proposal into acceptance. Okay? Newemba ankura ne president yeo jembeira. Sunze e. Tricky and get away. I first do my work and then I demand. Because it is now very difficult to prove to anyone that you can do work. Give me money and I do work. That aspect is also gone. As much as we know there is a new era coming up in life, we should also accept certain things that will work. One of the things that I'm going to ask the media fraternity of Uganda on tuberculosis and baby cool. I don't know about the rest, but my goal here is tuberculosis. If I can get 400,000 shillings alone as Bebe Kool, after I lobbied for it for one year, $400,000, how about, and I've been given this $400,000 to use for 12 months, but I've been given a target, and if I achieve that target, the next one is $2 million. So, this $2 million, if I achieve that target, the next one is five. Okay? So, my question here is, do you want some money as media? Me, I'm open. Let's see some hands of anyone who wants. But I, when I finish here, if you don't put your hand up, I walk. I know there is a list going around. But if I finish here, if I don't see your hand, I go. Do you want some money? You, do you want some money, media people? Good. Now, here is the answer. Let us give ourselves a target of 12 months to what percent in Zoom. Join me, let us do this argument. Okay? In the beginning, the money that we have is to trickle within you, media, so that we can move the story. Okay? But it will be very little and not for everyone. But we can target the much money in just 12 months. Nayate using tip between Zokukuba Mwemirundi Esatu. So, if you can join me and we ride, we drive this tuberculosis issue in Uganda for 12 months, at your personal will, Banang, Munyambe to say, to let you send to Kuvamba Zoom, to Zirete Uganda. I have been speaking in two languages so that this point can get in clearly. To Jeyo Kusent, I was a Java to Tuala put the Saint, the Mongedi and Dala companies. So many, uh, you know, uh, foreign companies are coming in here uh, to invest. But the actual thing is, yes, we want the investment, but they take money. Okay? But we need to bring back that money. How do we bring back that money? There are two channels so far that I can say eh? export labor and bringing back cash funding. Chuvala Baba Fede, Babemita Baba Fede. Nse siwa lwa njisa. Kwa hape bali kuwe hili, bali leta wana. Kati nange pepe ngeenze, nenuana. Nendeta yo, bili yonemu, nechitondo. Sije cho, kati mba saba mune gate kutu skeo bili yonendala munana next year. Sije cho, kati ya umunsa vetsente, 
Abumanya kasaji ya kukalina Teyo yomumanyi ngawa Ulava ngawa katono eh? Let's make a mission Let's go for the money To fight tuberculosis And end it in Uganda We can get that money In less than two years Two years puts us in a position Where media fraternity No longer has just to pick news But also give back to the people it is just another way of being an old person or cooler. No manyanti. Time has come. I also have a stake on my country. Thank you so much. Uh, definitely, I know I'll come back later because we have other issues. But allow me to also give Dr. Isiko a chance to talk about tuberculosis. Oh, thank you very much, the call. What a great moment we have this morning. This is a moment I've been looking for for the last six years. Baby, you don't know what you have done for me this morning. I've always wanted to meet the media. To meet them in this number, I see the media houses here represented, I, I can't even count. Can you clap for yourselves? And uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm really extremely happy. I want to start by thanking Bebe Kool. Last year, mid last year, I was given an assignment by our Geneva office and the partners here in Uganda to look amongst you people who could represent you as a champion for TB. It was the most difficult task I've ever had. Um, for us, we are more of academic. As doctors, we relate more with the patients. We never relate with the celebrities. And uh, I asked around, actually I asked some of your media houses, which person could we take on as the TB champion in this country? And we are looking for somebody who could appeal to the ladies, especially, and the gentlemen at the same time. We didn't know how to do it. We looked towards the ladies. The list was long. We looked towards the gentlemen. The list was long, and we kept narrowing it down. And it eventually narrowed it to Bebe Kool. Can you clap for Bebe Kool? <laughs> and good enough, all our partners accepted him. When I approached him, I called him personally. And uh, he received my call without any hesitation. He came to my office, we discussed. I didn't know that uh, he could be that humble. <laughs> And uh, when I explained to him what we want to do, he accepted readily. So we worked on uh, uh, a journey to go to, and we had a very short time. We had less than one month to process visas, to go to New York, to attend the highest level meeting on tuberculosis. When I talk about high level meeting, we are talking about the president's in the whole world. Prime Minister, leaders of government. So we traveled with the Bebe Kool. Within his schedules, he had put aside the, his schedules. And when we reached Geneva, they were really impressed with, the, I mean, when we reached uh, New York, they were really impressed with Bebe Kool. And he was to sing to the leaders in this world in what they called the night of stars i can assure you that they could show uh, stole the show that night because he was given 15 minutes but i remember him being on stage for 30 minutes he was singing and dancing with the leaders the, the leaders you know of the world leaders and everybody was impressed thank you baby. <laughs> So, we have a journey. We have a task 
with you people a task to end tuberculosis in this world and Uganda in particular by 2030. The mission is not easy, but we must accomplish it. This is an old ancient disease. We can't continue having it around. It's very annoying that it's an ancient disease that has been with us hundreds of years, but more people are aware about HIV than tuberculosis. HIV has been here just for a few years. So, how can we leave our people in the communities unaware of tuberculosis? And how do we get to them? We can only get there through you people. And I'm, that's why I said I'm extremely happy because you are the voice, our voice. We've been looking for partners and Bebe has done it for us this morning. He has brought you together. We must teach the people what are the causes of tuberculosis. How does one get infected with the tuberculosis? I'm sure all of you know that uh, tuberculosis is an airborne disease. Somebody coughs, jams are flowing around, now crowded as we are here. If somebody coughs and has tuberculosis, I mean, if, if anybody can inhale in the tuberculosis. So, tuberculosis, anybody, whether you're a press person, whether you're a celebrity like Bebe, whether you are a dignitary, you can acquire tuberculosis. You can acquire it from here, you can acquire it from the plane, you can acquire it from the taxi, you can acquire it on the bus. And the first point is to get the information to the people. People must be knowledgeable about tuberculosis. And when they are knowledgeable, they should know, in case you suspect yourself to have tuberculosis, what do you do? How do you get diagnosed of tuberculosis? All our health centers in this country, especially health center two upwards in this country, we have health center three, health center four, hospitals, these hospitals, national referral hospitals, centers of excellence, and diagnosed tuberculosis. So, after the diagnosis, the great message is, if you've been diagnosed of tuberculosis, treatment of tuberculosis in this country is free. Whether you are in the public sector or in the private sector, nobody should sell to you drugs of tuberculosis because they are very expensive and protected. And we have a lot of them. The country has done us one favor to buy enough drugs for tuberculosis and they are everywhere. And we want people to take treatment. This treatment takes a minimum of six months. It's not easy to take drugs for six months. We need people to be supported, and they'll be supported when they have information. Yourselves, you'll be able to support these people to take medication. I know many of you have never even taken treatment for more than a month, if even for a week. So what about taking drugs for six months? And we are talking about six months for TB that is sensitive to that use of TB drugs. But once you are, resist, you are resistant to TB drugs, the treatment is even much longer. It goes up to 20 months. Uh, and we are talking about painful injections. Uh, so why not uh, make sure that people, when they start on treatment, they should finish the treatment and they should be cured. In this country, we have about 90,000 people who get infected of tuberculosis, who, has, who have tuberculosis. But we are not finding about 40,000 of them. How do these people are missing? Huh? And why are they missing? They don't have the information about tuberculosis. They don't know what the symptoms are and where to get the diagnosis from, where to get the treatment from. And then the other issue, which we want to work together with you, and I'm really happy about this fraternity that we have developed through the call. We should be able to do away with the stigma and discrimination. Just yesterday, we had a lot of stigma for HIV, but now the stigma for TB is much higher. And why is it much higher? 
It's just because people relate tuberculosis with HIV, which is true. In this country, um, of the HIV patients, about 42% of the HIV patients have tuberculosis. But then, the other 58 don't have HIV. That we must be aware of. There are 58 percent who don't have HIV. Yeah? The 42 percent of HIV patients have tuberculosis. And when the two diseases are, when somebody is co-infected with tuberculosis and HIV, we must treat them because most of the patients of to HIV who die die because of tuberculosis, as I've said above. So we must work together, the two diseases, so that we eradicate them and end these diseases. Ladies and gentlemen, in this country, we are losing people every day. Imagine we are losing about 20 to 30 people every day because of tuberculosis. When I say losing, somebody may not understand me. I'm talking about dying. 20 to 30 people are dying of tuberculosis every day. We are talking about two communions of people dying every day. If two communions crash anywhere in this country, it will be news everywhere. It will capture that news. But these are people who are dying silently in the villages, in the communities. And we must all rally together uh, to fight uh, this scourge. Thank you. Uh, I'll be adding on later. And Thank you, Bebe Kool, for, and uh, I want to thank Bebe Kool and Amber Heart Foundation. Amber Heart Foundation was founded on a different, a completely different thing. But now it has come up as a leader to fight tuberculosis. And uh, this grant which they have won, let me tell you, you will even go to the website, our Stop TB Partnership website. Over 500 applicants all over the world applied to get the grant. But Amber Heart Foundation was among the 37. And it was their first attempt. And we didn't get them much. They knew what they wanted to do, very clear headed. And I'm really happy because I'd never really known. The is a very brilliant guy. Thank you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, um, now we, we go to the actual Bebe Kool. That was uh, Amber Heart Foundation before, now Bebe Kool Music. Um, what connects the two is uh, we are trying to change the way things are done. And we found that uh, the journey that I have taken of music for the last 25 years in Uganda has proven fruitful. Right now, everything in the world is kind of close to entertainment, if you want it to be successful. Be it politics, be it uh, health, be it um, whatever, name it. Every time you bring it close to the music world, it becomes successful. So, definitely the mother of all will be music. So, ladies and gentlemen, this year has been one of my best years, um, I would say musically where definitely I feel I have not been touched and neither am I going to be touched for the next few days before the year ends musically. I have never felt threatened anyway as an artist and uh, uh, the songs have been perfectly done. The world, uh, the, the country and the world all together have re uh, received my music well. Uh, of late, uh, definitely uh, we've had the biggest song in the country which seems to be blocking me from releasing more music because my fans are still saying don't release why why is still you know penetrating and doing good so i'm very proud to say that uh, i have done my part and, of, uh, and and i think i deserve to be the best artist of this year what do you think because <laughs> yeah. i think this is a song that plays you know five to eight times every night in any bar on radio and tv uh, of course credit goes to a uh, management of gagamel who are making sure that quality becomes an issue. Years ago when we had fights with DJs actually, I had a partial uh, feeling. Usually what happens to Bebe Kool is 
even if you don't like me or even if you're fighting me, I look for something that caused that fight on your side. So I really, really wanted to know why the DJs were saying all the things they were saying. Because still we were more successful than DJs. So my question at that time was, why are these people who are not as successful as us saying we are wrong? Kumbe, their issue was not about success. Their issue was even to make us more successful. To help us even walk a clearer road. And I must say, my extra success now comes because of DJs. Please, I want to thank all Ugandan DJs for the fight they put up. Because after that, I noticed that actually doing quality music was important. Mastered music and good videos. And today, Uganda enjoys Bebe Cool's videos and the sounds because the DJs fought for that. And they put us on a platform where now I rarely hear Nigerian music in the country, in the clubs. It is now more Ugandan music. When Bebe Cool does those videos, what happened is even the other artists who did not fly to go do videos from abroad, even their quality started stepping up. Even the directors who have never even seen a plane have brought videos out that are closer to mine. Let me say I shoot my videos from abroad. I've done in the US, I've done in South Africa, but there are directors who have not gone anywhere, but they have done videos that are nearly as good as mine. So credit goes to the fraternity of the DJs. Um, this year we are ending the year with, of course I did not have a concert this year. Uh, as I told you that I will always do a concert every after two years. So we have a Golden Heart concert next year. I'll be communicating on the dates, uh, which will go back to Kololo. And uh, this one will be definitely and directly tagged to tuberculosis. Uh, we intend to collect the, mass, the, the, the biggest amount of monies ever in Uganda. I also want to send a clear message and uh, a request to the government of Uganda and the president of the country that for the first time all, actually let me not exclude the members of parliament who this is directly, you know, um, uh, directly targeted. I want to challenge the government of Uganda and the members of parliament who sit in parliament every day. We always have campaigns and there's a big budget of campaigns from our national budget, isn't it? But what has the Electoral Commission done with that money in return for the people when it comes to health? I mean, just imagine the next elections having a theme of a health that is attached to health. I mean, imagine again a part of elections ayogena kutibi those three months won't Uganda what does that take we keep on sending members of parliament parliament and they cannot come up with such simple ideas I'm not challenging anybody but I'm saying I am going to write to uh, 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 Madam Speaker in Saba meeting in Aye we need to tag a health aspect. Campaign is joining Abantu Banji. Abantu never perceive a war. But we are now. There's so much contact within these events. So, how about if there's a health aspect on those events? So, that is one of the other ways on how a musician can influence. So, to chat Muka music here. This year we are ending with Tondekechi Watule. Tondekechi Watule, uh, Uganda today has had a lot of hit songs. So this time our song is, our Tondekechi Watule is called Hit After Hit. Because we have all the musicians with big songs. And uh, after a very long time, for the first time, we're also going to host uh, my brother, my young brother, Eddie Kenzo. Uh, who are definitely, we are very happy and I'm personally very happy that I'm hosting him in Chuatule for the first time. I'm looking forward to my fans embracing him and you know I'm happy that whatever was going on between Eddie Kenzo and Bebe Cool is all gone and this is what is important about life time time solves a lot of things and we can work together and we can work for each other so uh, I want to send a, a thank 
a thank you message for Eddie Kenzo to Eddie Kenzo for accepting to end this and also to embrace. I definitely went for his concert because I wanted this to go away because I can do a lot for him and he can do a lot for me. So he's coming over and I'm very glad that uh, both sides of the fans are happy and genuinely. And I want to ask Gagamel family members to embrace Eddie Kenzo. I embrace my young brother because I think he has worked for it and he has earned his uh, respect and he has contributed to the music industry. So 26th of December will be Boxing Day. It is 20,000 shillings and we are going to be directly screening people for tuberculosis. So we we'll begin with that. We also have uh, uh, different other events we will be working with uh, when it comes to tuberculosis during this month. So, people will start being aware. So, when Ugandans start seeing people asking them questions about TB Kumikolo, please, please, uh, I will be releasing more music starting from January. Ninayo collaborations. I have been forced to keep the collaborations because the singles have been doing so good. So, um, unfortunately, I may have to do a marathon of releasing music between January and July because the songs have to be out next year. And I have too much to keep as we head towards the, 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 the concert. So, to all the fans who have been waiting for Bebe Cool and asking questions about uh, the program, yes, we have the big concert next year. Yes, there's big music. I'll be releasing, I think my first collaboration will be with uh, Paul of Peace Square. The next one is definitely with Yemi Alade, which songs have already been done. The videos are going to be shot in Jan. Um, I have uh, two more surprises as uh, collaborations. Yeah, so musically we are doing good as Gagamel. Also, Gagamel would like to tell you that as we speak, we have a few days or a few weeks, maybe two only, to open up the Gagamel Record Studios. This is a studio that is located in Tinda at my old residence and this studio was supported by the president of Uganda, of course with the Gagamel uh, Entertainment, to make something, to open up a studio that has all the highest equipment quality by quality and technology. So we now have a place where we no longer need to go abroad to pay a lot of money to have quality production. I also want to remind you that yes, we also have the best cameras and the best lenses in East Africa. You cameramen, you know what I call anamorphic and you know what I call Ari Alexa. Those cameras are in Ntinda at the Gagamel Records. So right now, Uganda, we stand a better opportunity to take South Africans and Nigerians for a ride musically. And we are going to also focus on women, empowering women. In the next two weeks, we are going to open up a line where we are going, Gagamel is going to take on 20 women, 20 young girls, signed under tuberculosis. But Taskinze, Okupiambayo Abawala Makumi Amili, to create talent for them. Careers, lifetime, about TB. Chite geza, tina abawala makumi ya vidi wengendo kuwa atako, kuwa teka mugaga meru. Bagenda kuwela supported by TB every other year. So chite geza wana maudi, tuina okuya amba TB, kubanga TB already ya tante so tuya amba. Kati abawala awondi, nakozi somu sento kufawa, mu TB. Chite geza next year amba neta besende kwa mumanyi, music simu angu. Aliko ya ringa, evi ntubi inji nyo. So, 20 women will be uh, brought to Japan exactly how we are going to do it. 
but they have to be in Gagamel by the 20th of January. Uh, empowering women, ye key factor of Esoka, naying that it doesn't mean we depower men. Because uh, when you empower women, the question is, will men understand a, a woman with power? Because uh, so we are not putting out men, we are also saying we will also give men a chance. So definitely in the record company we will have uh, male artists also, uh, who we have already started on their journey. Uh, I'm proud to say that my son Alan is one of the directors of uh, Gagamel Studios. And I'm also proud to introduce to you Ronnie Mutabazi, please stand up, who is now uh, the artist manager locally. Uh, uh, again, allow me to introduce to you Andrew Chizito, who is the business manager for the artist, Bebe Ku. Um, I also would like to introduce to you Kado Abe, who uh, is in charge of the artist media uh, connectivity, and uh, he's uh, CEO of 24 Media. These two ladies that you're seeing seated on this table is uh, Amber Heart Foundation was challenged to find um, a programs director who is a female. That is the directive from uh, above. But as what we did, we said no, we will even double the empowerment and say we want to have two of them, two program directors for tuberculosis. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the strength of women in Uganda. Not forgetting, uh, uh, of course, uh, my beautiful wife uh, as a director of uh, uh, Amber Heart Foundation also will be joining us later on, uh, uh, who is not in the country today. So, in brief, that is all about uh, the connectivity for the music. Um, uh, I think now we can... Okay. Um, I've had a request that... Uh...